All right. Um, we're going to shift gears a little bit and we're going to talk a little bit about um, what you've been talking about intelligence in a lot of different forms, a lot of different places. Um, and even though we've, we've covered some things about intelligence in the workplace, we really haven't talked about how intelligence is impacting work. So let me introduce you to Frank. He's going to talk to us a little bit about a uh, UI path and, and RPA or robotic process automation. Now that that's almost an old buzzword. Now the, the new buzzword is hyper automation. So I'm familiar with that, uh, with my experience uh, working with UI path here at Ingram. Uh, but I'm not sure if necessarily our partners are. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, process automation and, and UI path. Yeah. Well, first, thank you guys for for having uh, me part of this platform. Really excited to to address this with Ingram and and all the partners involved. Um, and Andrew, you're right. Our RPA is old nomenclature. Um, automation now is becoming old. Um, hyper automation is kind of the new new term here. But as I think you'll see through this conversation, any typical enterprise customer they have roughly 175 different applications in most workflows as we know are intended to actually work across all of these apps but the apps weren't actually built to interact with each other and so you see this massive linkage burden you know and if we look at who's taking the the brunt of that linkage challenge it's it's people it's humans do so it's it's humans that are doing the data entry the system migrations the the compiling the routing the alerting and of course, you guys can imagine it's it's extremely frustrating and, and highly unproductive. And that's the, on the technology side. If you look at you know some of the, the the bigger macro business challenges where automation really comes into play here, it's it's about driving um, better business outcomes. Um, I think one of the, the the biggest trends that we can talk about that everyone's probably familiar with is the, the workforce gap, right? We've all heard about the great resignation. 62% um, of, of our customers are struggling to, to staff appropriately. Um, we just can't hire enough humans to get this work done. So someone has to do that work. I know UiPath is leader in the mark, one of the leaders in the market. Uh, why are they there? What's, you know, what are they bringing to the table that really differentiates them from their competition? This specific um, um, market segment, automation, is growing two times faster than any other software um, segment, which is obviously good news for, for all of us involved. Um, the platform approach and then the intelligence, right, that's layered into each of the pillars of, of the platform. And, and the intelligence is a, is a critical piece here. System intelligence is key because, one, system system intelligence is is allows us to identify areas of improvement that we probably aren't even aware that need to be improved. And then secondly, it, el it helps us simplify uh, you know, our work by either helping us make better decisions or in some cases, executing those decisions you know, for us. And so that intelligence layer is really critical when you talk about the platform. And so the platform, again, what differentiates us and, and creates that leadership role is is the platform is essentially an end-to-end -end, you know, automation experience. Really key to understand what makes end-to-end, -end, starting with process discovery, right? The problem, guys, that most companies have before they start automating is, what do we automate? They don't even know where to start. And so to have the, the intelligent tools that allow you to dissect workflows or existing processes, um, that are either manual or systemic, there needs to be some intelligence to tell you what 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 are those opportunities. And so that's when we lean on tools like process mining or, or task capture to allow customers first to create that inventory. What, what should they be tackling? And when we talk about, because our ultimate goal at UiPath is enterprise-wide adoption, right, or automation. And to achieve that, you actually need all types of users to be able to build or at least, you know, uh, 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 provide automation, you know, ideas and not everybody within an enterprise has software developer skills. And even if they do, right, it's it's actually having a platform that can intelligently assist in the design of that bot obviously is a huge benefit to scale. Right. And so those are some of the key, I think, differentiators on the platform. 
that actually separate UiPath from from all other players, right? And give us that leadership kind of position in the market. You know, a, a customer problem is really a partner opportunity. So let's let's talk about part partner opportunity. Um, if we've got somebody who really isn't in the automation space right now, I, I guess one of the choices would be if they work with a specific, you know, vertical or market segment that maybe one of your competitors is a better fit for doing just that. And that's all they ever want to do. That might be worthwhile investing time in. But if they've got a broader base of customers and they're looking for a solution that they're going to get the maximum return across their customer base, it sounds like UiPath is going to be a, a better fit. So if, if we've got a partner who maybe follows up after this uh, event and says, hey, I'm, I'm interested, kind of what's that engagement look like? How do they get up to speed? What do they need to do? And really, what's the potential value for that partner? If you look, think about our customer base and, and, and put it in context for our partners, we've got over 10,000 customers. By the way, 70% of those, those customer engagements are through partners. And I think what we're seeing is we're starting to see this, this segmentation you know, around different, you nailed it, industries and, and verticals. And so our engagement model is about how do we how do we not only enable, but how do we establish go to market specific go to markets based on a, a partner's specialization um, or IP? And, and, and it's all about how we think about, you know, enabling. And when I say enable, I think there's a there's an inversion of that where our partners are going to en en enable us on what they are really good at. Well, thank you very much for your time, Frank. It's uh, it's a really interesting opportunity. I hope uh, some of our partners will get on board and uh, hopefully we'll be hearing more from you and UiPath. Pleasure to be part of this, guys. Thank you so much for the invite.